Christopher Lind asks, well, a few different things, but today we're going to focus on the part that says some good explanations of smart ways to work with delimiters. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's talk about what a delimiter is. Basically, you'll have a file of some sort and it has information in there that's divided up into certain ways with certain characters that are the delimiters to divide things up. For example, I can cat out this file called myfile.txt, and we have three columns. Each column is divided up by a space. Um, but you can have a delimiter of every, uh, basically anything, and one common uh, delimiter is a tab. So if I cat out this file, it's the same file, but it has tabs instead of spaces for each column. Um, so let's go ahead and start working with that file first, because we're going to be looking at the cut command. Now, the cut command is used to basically cut up files based on delimiters. So what we can do here is we can say cut dash F and then the fields we want. And by default, cut uses tabs as delimiters. So we don't even have to tell it what delimiter to use because if you don't tell it what delimiter, it's just by default going to use tabs. So I'm going to say uh, to use field one. If we do that and give it our file of my tabs, it shows just column one. If I was to tell it F2, it's going to show column two. If I say F3, it's going to show column three. If I was to say uh, F comma three, it's going to show columns one and three with a tab in between. If I was to say uh, one dash three, it's going to show one through three. And I can also do two through three. And if I had more, I can block them off. I only have three columns. But if I had five columns, I can do from four to seven or whatever columns I want that way. Um, now, again, this is saying that our default delimiter here is tabs. What if your delimiter is something else such as a space? So for example, we have my file.txt and I want to get the first column of that. If I hit enter here, it's going to show all three columns because it's looking for tabs. There are no tabs. So it's going to show everything up to the first tab, which there is no tab. So it's going to show everything. So what we have to do is tell it what delimiter we want. Now there's two ways you can write this. You can do D backslash and then the delimiter you want. In this case, it's a space. So I just left a double space there. This first space is saying that a space is our delimiter. That's fine when you're working with some delimiters. With spaces, it's a little confusing having those two spaces there. So another thing we can do is just do space and then inside quotation marks here, say our delimiter in this case is space. So we do that and it returns the same thing. I can say F2 or F3 or 2-3 whatever we want now that we've said what our delimiter is. Now, again, a delimiter can be any, in this case with cut, single character, uh, whether it be a tab, a comma, it could be a letter. I can say make my, here, let's make my delimiter a capital S. And here, let's make it one. So here we're showing everything before capital S, which this was, uh, uh, someone's name, either Sally or Sam. What names did I use? Yep, Sam. Sam and Sally. So it got to that S and just showed the first column before that. These other ones, they went further to, in this case, Tom worked in sales with the capital S and it cut the delimiter there. Betty, there was no capital S in her line. There's a lowercase s, but we are case sensitive here. So it just showed her entire line. Same for Jim. Now, Let's say we want to change our delimiter to something else. So for example, here I have delimiter a space. I can say lines F1 through 3, which would show all of my columns in this particular case. But I want to change that to something else because commonly you're not going to use spaces as your delimiters. Uh, one of the most common is actually commas. Uh, you might see a reference to SC, or sorry, CSV, uh, comma separated values or comma separated variable. I, I feel like it can stand for two different things. I usually say comma separated values, um, but I think there's a, a, like another way that acronym works. Anyway, how do you make it? And you can you have a CSV file that doesn't use commas. It can use something else. But let's change our delimiter to something else. So in this case, we can say 
output our delimiter and, and then in quotations say what we want our delimiter to be. So let's say we want to change all our delimiters to commas. There we go. So I showed columns one through three and I don't have to show all, I can say one and two or one and three, but replace the delimiters on the output of it to whatever I put in these quotation marks over here. Now we didn't change the file, we just changed the output, but I can redirect this into a new thing and say my.csv file. And now I can cat out my.csv and you can see that we have a file with that. But our original file here of my text, I can cat out and it has not been altered at all. Um, now also another thing to think about is lots of times maybe you have something with commas like an address that already has commas in it. Uh, one way that CSV files uh, tend to work uh, is to put quotations around the strings and then separate them by variables. So I can actually do this and now if I cut out, cut out my CSV I actually, well, no, that was actually a bad example. Uh, we do have it, but we still would need to put quotations at the beginning of each line, end of each line. I was trying to do something on the fly that didn't work out. Um, but here we can actually add, quickly add commas to the beginning and end of each line very simply using set. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but the, I just wanted to show you the output delimiter can be anything. It could be a whole sentence. I can be like dash, 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 dash. Let's just show the output instead of modifying our file. I can change the limit to be dash dash pipe pipe or underscore or I can be like tag or whatever I want the delimiter of the output to be. Uh, let's see what else is there anything else I wanted to go over in this uh, video I don't think so there's a lot more cut can do but those are some basic commands there I hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist because there's lots of videos in this playlist you might find useful both in the past and in the future I am putting out videos uh, of, right now I'm putting out a few a week that might slow down in the near future. Um, but I hope you're enjoying these. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. That helps me out a lot. And if you have a dollar or two or more to spare each month, uh, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash x 1000 There's a link in the description to that. And like I said, even a dollar a month is very uh, appreciated. And be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link to that in the description as well. It's a great place to search through my videos, but you can also search through them on my YouTube channel. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.